Linen Hamper Assembly Instructions by Gear Press. Attach three connecting tubes to one set of legs. Be sure that the small hole for the rod of the foot pedal, located near the bottom of the straight leg, is facing inward. Attach using three 5 16 inch machine screws. Place five bushings and one nylon spacer per side of the pedal as shown. Insert the pedal rod so that it goes through both ends of the foot pedal. Push the four bushings into place firmly and let the other bushing and spacer rest in place on the end of the rod. Insert the rod of the foot pedal into the small hole on the leg assembled side. Hold the assembly upright and align the holes as shown to attach the other set of legs. Ensure that the other end of the foot pedal rod is fully secure in both holes before tightening the screws. This step may require two people for better stability. Take the pre-assembled hamper lid and rest it on top of the four legs. Use four 5 16 inch flathead machine screws to attach the lid to the frame. There may be slight manual adjustments needed to align the holes properly. Once the powder-coated steel lid is attached, it will close rapidly, potentially pinching fingers and hands. This will be resolved once the dampening system is attached. Place one of the actuator rods inside the inner hole of the pedal. The L should face toward the outside face of the linen hamper. Place the washer and then the quarter inch knot as shown. The bushings should already be pushed into place. Tighten the nut. Insert the other actuator rod, this time placing the damper in between the washer and the bushing. The dampening system should be arranged with the black cylinder portion down. Tighten the nut. Wiggle the foot pedal around to align the dampening system hole with the corresponding hole of the linen hamper frame. Insert the quarter inch zinc bolt and tighten the quarter inch nut. Make sure the rubber spacer is in place. It is crucial to the longevity and functioning of the dampening system. Adjust the clevis rod end along the threads so that the end of the rod is flush with the top face as shown. After inserting a bushing into the hole of the lid, align the hole with the clevis rod end. Insert the pin and clip it to the base of the clevis rod end as shown. It will snap firmly into place. You will need to adjust the lid and pedal carefully prior to placing the pin in order to achieve proper alignment. It does not matter which way the pin faces. Repeat this step on the other side of the linen hamper. Take the two casters with brakes and insert them into the front legs of the linen hamper. Do the same using the two casters without brakes, placing them in the rear legs of the linen hamper. If the caster does not easily become flush with the ends of the tube, you may need to use considerable force. Enjoy the silent design of the GearPress linen hamper.